Hi, I'm Fee from Clifton Cameras and we're here today in the Forest of Dean to test the brand new Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III. So we've come out here today not to necessarily go through all the technical specs. You can find those over on the website, cliftoncameras.co.uk. But what we wanted to do was focus on more of what the camera is going to be like in the real world situation. Where are you going to take this camera? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to shoot? So why not come to such a place like this? So what is the EM1 Mark III all about? It's pretty much an amalgamation of the EM1 Mark II and the EM1X. So it really takes a lot of the high-end features from the EM1X and puts it into a lot smaller, lighter, more portable system. So one of the changes on the Mark III is the new processor, the TruePic 9. This enables you to get that 50 megapixel high-res handheld shot. Now we've been testing it here on the, the different textures and the rock surfaces. You can really see in these images that the resolution is just incredible. And even when shooting at higher ISOs of 1600, the, the noise is just non-existent. So one of the other changes to the Mark III is the upgraded face and eye detection algorithm. Now, as we know, Olympus have been doing this for quite a while, but hopefully, as you can see, it's been improved. So it's, it's on level, if not even better, than a lot of some of the other competitors on the market. So what's also really useful is that when you've got multiple faces in a scene, you can quickly cycle through which one that you want to prioritise. So one of the other improved features on the Mark III is the image stabilisation, which is up to seven and a half stops. Now we've got the 300mm on at the minute and we've been taking some detailed shots and you can really see how solid this is even when playing around with some longer shutter speeds. So one of the features taken from the EM1X is the live ND mode. So in this mode, you can slow down the exposure by up to five stops without the need for any additional filters. So what we're doing here with this one is slowing down to about 10 seconds. So we really take out the texture from the water and uh, really emphasize the reflections. So what's really handy about this is that you can actually see the effects of the long exposure before you've pressed the shutter. So this would be ideal for all those landscape photographers, which like us today, uh, didn't bring any ND filters with us. So it's the same 121 point AF system as the Mark II, but when paired with a new processor, we are seeing a slight improvement in those speeds. The one new feature is the Starry Sky Autofocus mode. So as the name suggests, this mode allows you to autofocus on stars in the night sky, which traditionally you would have to manual focus to infinity. So when you look at the headline specs of this camera, you might be thinking that it's not a million miles away from the Mark II, However, when you scratch beneath the surface, you really do see that a lot of these top features that are now in this from the EM1X just make it that more versatile and well-rounded camera. So you kind of want to label this camera as a, a jack of all trades, but without the master of none with it. Whether you're into your landscapes, portraiture, wildlife photography, this camera really does tick all those boxes. So considering the price of this isn't a million miles away from the Mark II, it really makes it a viable option for those people that maybe like the EM1X, but didn't maybe necessarily want the extra size and weight that came with that. So head on over to cliftoncameras.co.uk to check out our pre-order deals. And if you've got any questions or queries, then feel free to leave them in the comments below or get in touch with us on the website.